Hello? Hello? I hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm right here. I read you loud and clear. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. My name is Jax. I just can't believe it. Not only did both of us somehow manage to find these walkie-talkies with some battery, but this also means we aren't that far from each other. N no, uh, <laughs> it's all right. Don't come looking for me. I um just got caught up in a swarm of those things and barely made it out to our rooftop. <laughs> you shouldn't put yourself in danger. Are you alone? I see. So you're basically holding down the fort before they come back. That's good to hear. I'm, uh... On my own. Uh, <laughs> I lived in an apartment a good distance away from my family. So I was trying to find my way back to them. Uh, 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 I'm... Uh, fine. <laughs> I... <laughs> I didn't even manage to make it through the first week of an apocalypse without getting bitten. <laughs> All of those how to survive a zombie apocalypse tutorials or <laughs> apocalypse video games don't exactly make up for my lack of physical competency. So, um, please, just stay where you are. And, uh... If you don't mind, can you stay on the walkie-talkie with me? Thank you. And uh, I got bit a few minutes ago. Ah, during that swarm I mentioned, just when I thought I was in the clear and so close to slamming them all behind the door, one managed to take a gnarly chomp on my hand. Bastard. I tried to banish it at least, but I can already see the dark veins and now it's starting to hurt a lot. The view out here is really neat though, and I actually snagged my favorite bag of chips from a gas station nearby, so <laughs> I'm just vibing. But uh, enough about me, how's your day been? <laughs> sorry, sorry, kind of a stupid question, huh? Maybe we can ask each other some icebreaker questions, you know. The agonizing ones we would do in school on the first day of classes. Ahem. <clears throat> so, what's your favorite color? Nice, nice. Mine's magenta. Hmm. If you could travel anywhere, before the apocalypse, of course, where would you go and why? Ah, good choice. I think I would be down to go anywhere for street food. You can eat more for way cheaper and... I don't know, it feels closer to the culture in a way, rather than only eating in big restaurants. There are so many foods I want to try. Especially those canned cake vending machines in Japan. <laughs> yep, those exist. I would go just for that. Okay, here's everyone's favorite question. <clears throat> Where do you see yourself ten years in the future? Um, if the zombie apocalypse didn't exist, I mean. Oh, I see. That's nice to hear. I think whatever you wanted to do, you were going to achieve it. I can tell you're a really great person, even if we've only been talking for a bit. I wouldn't be able to be so positive about my situation unless I have someone like you to bounce off of. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. <laughs> oh, but even in this whole zombie thing, <laughs> I'm sure your energy and determination will be just a thing to pull you through. <laughs> See? And you're really sweet. <clears throat> mm. 
Mm. Damn. Mm-hmm. These are just as good as I remember. <laughs> You've got to try them if you see them. Let's see. They're called... Uh, my vision is kind of blurry at the moment. Sorry about that. Um, well, it's a red bag with a huge yellow strip. I had these a lot as a kid. They're kind of like puffs with spice and lime. Definitely worth a try if you spot them. Glad I didn't lose my sense of taste because of that stupid virus. <sighs> that one was worse than the last one. Oh, I'm, I'm alright. I'm alright. I... Hmm... Actually... Uh, the only way to ease this pain is if you... Uh, you tell me your most embarrassing story. The most excruciatingly embarrassing memory that keeps you awake at 4 a.m. Only then. <laughs> oh, come on. Please... I'm dying over here. Yay! You know I've got my snacks ready. Now spill. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No way. No way! <laughs> That's pretty great. <laughs> I mean, it's horrible for you. <laughs> but thank you for sharing. <sighs> Ooh. I guess um, that means we're officially friends now. Right? I'm glad. <laughs> it's been a while since I've talked to anyone that wasn't groaning or trying to eat me. <laughs> This is really nice. The sun is setting now, and it's making the sky all pink with some blue clouds. I know if things were how they used to be, I would be trying to take pictures of it with my phone. <laughs> hey, when I found the walkie-talkie, I, uh... <laughs> there's no other way to put this, um... I also found a gun. <laughs> I think I figured out how to use it. <laughs> Walking off this rooftop won't do the trick. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it'd be a bad first impression if I met you as a zombie. <sighs> but <laughs> I won't let that happen. <laughs> I wish I could do more. Go out heroically or something like in the movies. <laughs> or have fun and make sure my family's alright. Or maybe even have met you in person. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I shouldn't be thinking like that. I'm sure they're fine. I just know it. Right now, I feel okay. Thank you for talking to me. I want you to know that I really had the best time with you. I'm so grateful to have had this moment. Well, <laughs> good luck out there. Not that you'll need it. You've got this, friend. Goodbye. Wasn't that a cheerful story? <laughs> Thank you for listening to today's audio. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, like, comment, subscribe. Um, this is a script by Foggy CC. 
very talented writers, so please give them some appreciation if you don't mind. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.